Mm. All right, here we go. This is, we're continuing, the Devar Malchut of the Rebbe, a speech that the Lubavitcher Rebbe gave in 1991, and it's about uh, the holiday of Shavuot and the Torah. And he said that when God gave the Torah, he gave everything, all the Torah, all of the Torah ideas that were going to be ever were contained in the Torah. And because the Torah is the blueprint of creation, the Torah is the source of blessing in the creation. So it's pretty important, the Torah. So it says, there's a, the prophecy by Isaiah that the Torah is going to come from God. It will come from God. And the Mishnah, the Midrash explains that it's, just, it's going to be a new Torah. And it's going to be a new heaven and earth. So the Rebbe explained, if you remember, we just went through this. So uh, just in a short way, so I said, what does it mean the Torah is going to be new? It means that people's minds will be more, you say, more uh, active, more alive, more real. The potential in every human being will come out, especially the Jews. The potential for understanding and grasping will be revealed. So people now, they can't understand spiritual things. They'll understand spiritual things. What about godliness? Much more about God than we understand now, we'll be able to understand. And similarly, ideas in the Torah, <clears throat> to the degree that everybody's going to be like Beit Shammai. It says that Beit Shammai, the school of Shammai, they were very sharp. And it seems they were like to the level of the what everybody's going to be like in the time of the Mashiach. And therefore, laws will change because simply people will see deeper aspects in the laws. And the majority of the wise men will decide, because that goes according to the majority. The majority of wise men <clears throat> will decide like Beit Shammai. And therefore, there's going to be three more cities of refuge corresponding to Chachma Bin of Adas, because there'll be more intellect in the world, and people will want to go and learn more Torah just in order to know how to improve themselves even more. That's what it means, the cities of refuge. And it's okay, so the Rebbe explained this. So it means that there'll be more revelation of God. God won't be a, how do you say, relegated as it is now, 100% faith. 100% faith, 99% faith. Right, there's people that say the other the Jews were never in Egypt, the pre Jews never got out, the Jews never received the Torah. God doesn't exist, God doesn't create the world. If he does, he doesn't care, etc. All these ideas that the, we do believe now, we do it because of belief. We do it because of belief. And every proof that you can bring that it's different, they'll say, Well, you know, the same thing is in my religion. And the, the other person could say, I don't believe in anything. Look how successful I am and how healthy I am. And it is right. So it's a matter of belief now, but in the future, it won't be a matter of belief. Everyone will see how good God is like one of these ladies, this, some, I don't know, missionary lady, I don't know what it is. Anyway, she wrote me and she said, you're going to see when the Mashiach comes, then you're really going to get punished. Then you're going to get punished. You see that you've denied, you know, our Savior. And there's a... So I said, well, you know, when my Mashiach comes, then you're going to be really happy. You know, everyone's going to be really happy. Now, no one's going to get punished. The reason people are far away now from the truth is because they've just been lied to. They're just People just have been miseducated. And not only that, God is hidden from us. What do you want? God is hidden. It's not our fault. God is hidden. But when Mashiach comes, everybody's going to be tremendously happy because they'll know that any bad things that they did, they did because of ignorance. How do you say temporary insanity? The last 2,000 years, temporary. <clears throat> Okay, so in other words, intellect will be uh, uh, the, the human comprehension of what God is, what reality is, will be increased. The Jews even more so. And therefore the Jews, because they're in, commanded to learn the Torah, will reveal new ideas and new things in the world. The Torah will be new in that aspect. It'll be like young, fresh, godly. And the world, therefore, will also become new, according to the Torah. It'll be the whole entire world. That's what he said, the whole entire world. Yesh, let's see if we can even add on. And then he says that the Rebbe is, is hinted at us because the Torah portion, which is called Nosoi, elevating, comes after the holiday of Shavuot. On Shavuot, the whole Torah was given, even the secrets, but it wasn't revealed. Nosoi means it'll be elevated, it'll be revealed. <clears throat> even that the, there's going to be such a thing. Yesh, let's see if we can add on. Then Parshas Nosoi, 
Rumez is also hinted at Gam also Derech, the way Avoda of serving God, Sha'al Yada, that by means of his boy we can come to this new Torah that comes from us because it all depends on us. We have to be vessels. Like they say that the, <clears throat> the, the holiday of Shavuot is called the day of the giving of the Torah, Matan Torah. It's called Matan Torah. God gave the Torah, but not everybody accepted it. <clears throat> Instead, they only accepted it in Purim, and then it was only temporary. <clears throat> Purim was like a thousand years after the giving of the Torah. All this, the new Torah, it all depends on the work we do now. This is written in the Tanya also, the 36th, 37th chapter of the Tanya. Well, back then, let's, what are we supposed to do? Okay, so what are we supposed to do? Right, except to understand these ideas and that every single Jew, Yesh Nitzos, has got a spark of the Mashiach. Every Jew. Kamarum was like a hinted in the sentence, Darach Kochav Miyakov. It's one of the, the curses turned blessings of. Uh, of Bilam. Bilam prophesied about Mashiach. He said, Dorach Kocha Yaakov said there will come a star from Jacob. This refers to David, Malcha Mashiach. But another opinion says that it refers to each and every Jew. Since then, each and every Jew has a spark from the soul of the Mashiach. This is the level of Yechida, which this is a spark from the level of Yechida Klalis. This is the, what's Yechida means the level of the Jewish soul, which is totally united with God. Totally above any possibility of comprehension. That's what makes a Jew a Jew. That's why Jews are willing to give their life, even non-religious Jews. They're willing to give their life for their Judaism. Right? That happened in the Inquisition. This, they, the the non-religious Jews, rather than bowing down to the statue or whatever they, the church presented them, <laughs> they were willing to be burned at the stake. Why? Because it's above understanding. It makes no sense. It's above time. That's the level of Yechida. That's the level of Mashiach in every Jew. The true essence of the truth. Right? That God is really creating everything. And God is infinitely good. That's the soul of the Mashiach. Nishmata, the soul of the Mashiach, is implanted in every single Jew. The Mashiach will come, in this case it's the Lubavitcher Rebbe, he'll come and he'll wake up the little Mashiach inside of each one of us. Lohan, therefore, al gili b'chinas yechida, by means of this revelation of the inner point of Judaism in every single Jew, mezarzim, we hurry up, maharim, and we quicken, that's a good word, quicken, make faster, upoalim, and we bring about the revelation of this yechida, the, the, not just the yechida, if we open up and work from this yechida inside of us, that opens up the yechida in the Mashiach, the big Mashiach, the real Mashiach, the human being, that's totally Mashiach. Sha'az then, Yagilui, revelation of Torah Hadasha Miti said they'll be then they'll be able to be the, the real Torah, the inside of the Torah. Just like Moses gave us the external Torah, as Mashiach will bring the secrets, the inner secrets were, which were in that Torah. That's the Yechida. And the, just like nowadays, the Yechida of every Jew is not revealed. Jews don't know or feel what it means to be a Jew, or they even can deny that they are Jewish. But in the future, it will be revealed the same thing with the Torah. The godliness in the Torah can be denied, but in the future, it won't be denied. Everybody will feel the same God that's creating, giving the Torah, is giving, creating us. Infinitely good. Free. Ali, they said, by means of this, also, there will be a new heavens and a new earth. Shemayim chadashim, ve'aretz chadashah, that I make. Gile bechines yechida, the revelation of this level of yechida, the inner point of godliness in the whole entire world. That's yechidu shalolam. Yesh Lomar, we can say, Sheinian said that this is hinted at in the beginning and the end of Parshas Nasa. In the beginning of Parshas Nasa, this part, Torah portion that we're going to be reading this coming Shabbat, and you people outside of Israel will be reading it the Shabbat after. The meaning when God counts the number of the Jewish people, God says, that's what the Torah portion got its name from elevate, lift up. It says, lift up the head of the Jewish people. It says, Girshom also. This is relevant to the counting of all of the Jewish people as they are, because all the Jewish people are the tribe of Levi. Like it says the Rambam, not the Levi alone, but every single Jewish person can be, devote himself to God. He's like Levi. That this is equal by every single Jew. <clears throat> Therefore, the greatest, highest Jew is not considered to be worth any more 
than the lowest end of the Jews because of the essence of the soul. And that sort of explains why the Lubavitcher Rebbe <clears throat> dealt so much with simple Jews. I mean, the, the Lubavitcher Rebbe, you can just look at his writings. They're just so extensive, and he never made a mistake. It's just really incredible. He's got some people say, oh, yeah, he has a whole staff of people. That the, the, the Rebbe used to put footnotes to everything that he said, and it was just with tremendous speed, and he never had to open up the books and look and to see what page it's on or what letter it's on. Just, he just knew everything. With Kabbalistic books and, and, and science, he knew science and he knew politics and he knew economics. There's people that came out and said that he just, the, the, Arik Sharon said he knows more about the, 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 the security of Israel than I do. He was the everything. And what is the Rebbe occupied with? Answering letters from these simple people that answer some, ask sometimes the most ridiculous questions that I think they were, the Rebbe didn't think they were ridiculous at all. Right? What type of a car should I buy? What type of a this? <clears throat> there are times when the Rebbe wouldn't have to answer the point. All of a sudden, the answer would be clear to the person. But everybody felt that they have, uh, how do you say, a, an address to write to. <clears throat> Yeshlo, see if we can add on that this also was hinted at in the beginning of what it says in our Torah portion of a mincha. Uh, at the Mincha of Shabbat, the, and it's right at the end of Shabbat, we read a portion from next week's Torah reading. It says, Balot Chatanerot. After Parshas Nosa, it means elevating, elevating the Jewish people to their source, their head, to the source, to this level of Yechida, of the Jewish soul. And after that comes Balot Chat. Balot Chat. <clears throat> the next week's chapter is Balot Chatanerot. It talks about the, the in the end of Parshas Nosa, talks about the offerings that some of the tribes brought. And in the end, at the very end, it talks about lighting the, the menorah. It says, Balot Chatanerot, <clears throat> when you raise up the lights, the candles in the Holy Temple. In the Holy Temple, there was, everybody knows, it saw it before, a menorah. The Rebbe made a big thing about this. That the picture that it's round, you know, that it's round is not a Jewish picture. It doesn't come from any Jewish source. There's no Jewish source in the world that says the menorah was rounded. It wasn't rounded. It was uh, straight arms. There's other different opinions, but none of them say that it was like, anyway. So that, that's the, what are they called? The menorah. That's the menorah that's in the Holy Temple. So it's Balot Chat and Nero that Aaron had to light the candles, but it doesn't say lighting the candles. It says that he has to lift up the candles. Balot Chat. Make the flame go up. El Mul Panea Menorah. There were three on one side and three on the other side. Three three uh, branches on one side, three branches on the other. And then there's the middle. That's the Panea Menorah is the middle one. Ya'iru Shivas and Eros. All seven candles will all be lit. But Zel Maisa Menorah. This is Miksha Za'av. It was one piece of gold from the bottom until the top or whatever. Any, every aspect of it was gold. The Af. Shabbat Israel, even though the Jewish people are all sorts of different levels of Jews, different types of Jews, they're more intellectual Jews, they're more emotional Jews, there's seven level, different types of service of God, that's called the seven branches of the menorah, but nevertheless they're all united to the, what's called the face of the menorah, and they have, why? Because they're all gold. All the Jewish people are gold. In other words, the uniting and the true essence of every Jew is from the essence of the soul that's the level of Yechida, that's gold that's gold and that's what unites all the Jews together and the purpose of the Jews is to shine, to shine up the world, not to just remain for themselves and those all even more also this idea that it is juxtaposed, huh? nice word juxtaposed, is put right next to <coughs> the idea of the <coughs> Nesim, how all of the different heads of the tribes, they brought their offerings, etc. As right after that comes this, that Levi, the tribe of Levi, our own, in other words, lit the candles, lit the candles, the Kohanim, they lit the candles. Mudgash, is, this is the highness of the tribe of Levi, more than all the other 12 tribes. There were 12 tribes, but the tribe of Joseph got divided into two. So there was really 13 tribes. 
It says, no, but the tribe of Levi didn't really get a portion in the land of Israel. They were set apart. They were different. They worked in the Holy Temple. Like Rashi said, Lama Nisva Chaparsis and Menorah, the Parsis on the Why was this Torah portion of the Menorah put right next to the, what the, the, the other tribes, what the other tribes brought? Aaron, when Aaron saw Chanukah and when Aaron saw that all of the other heads of the Jewish tribes, camps, they all brought their offerings, right, one after the other, they brought the same thing. Look, it's repeated over 12 times. Each one brought these wonderful offerings with the, uh, the, a spoon of gold and, and oxes and things like that. And Aaron didn't bring anything. God didn't say to bring anything for Aaron. All the other 12 tribes brought for the inauguration, for the, the, how do you say, the opening days of the tabernacle. Everyone brought, and God didn't tell Aaron to bring anything. When he saw that, Cholsha, then he became, Cholsha Dato, he became very, how do you say, embarrassed, very ashamed. Kishaloye Maim, he wasn't with them, <clears throat> with the, <clears throat> he wasn't with them with inaugurating the temple, and not him, not even his whole tribe wasn't with all, nobody from Levi. Everybody brought for the first days, the opening days, the first 12 days, everybody brought some of these big offerings, and Aaron didn't bring anything. Levi, did, Levi didn't bring anything. God said, don't worry about it. Chayecha. Shalchab, what you're going to bring is going to be greater than them. You're going to light the candles. You're going to light the menorah. The menorah is going to be greater. The Ramban explains that what does it mean? Yours is going to be greater, that even though the temple was destroyed, we still light the lights of Hanukkah. That's what he explained. Ubiyachat, nevertheless, his is greater. Ubiyachat, so lighting the menorah in some ways is greater than the offering of all these other sacrifices that God wanted. Ubiyachat, <coughs> said, together with this, <coughs> it's, it's connected. There's a connection between them. What's the connection between them? The connection is the Tivuchas, the whole thing of Shevet Levi, the tribe of Levi. This comes down why is Levi greater than all the others? Because Levi, they, they, the quality of Levi is, permeates all the Jewish people. Like what the Rambam says, not Shev Levi alone, not the tribe of Levi alone, were devoted to God, but any Jew, in fact, and he says, call Ishvish any human being that wants to devote himself to God. And they will, just like the Kohanim and the Levim, they'll get a special blessing. If so, this is relevant to every single Jew. The Indians, then, this is made by means of revelation of this level of Yechida, the inner level of the Jewish people. And like the Rebbe said before, we just previously, all of this depends on the Jews. The Jews are totally different from everybody else in the world. The Jews have this level of Yechid. That's called that they were sons of God, were servants of God. The Jewish people are the chosen ones of God, uh, were the soldiers, were the army of God. All these things of the Jews, the Jews have a special relation, a holy temple with the Jews. But the purpose of the Jews is to be public servants, that the whole world eventually will get this revelation. The whole world will feel chosen. The whole world will feel special. And you can feel a little bit of it now, right? Whether you're a Jew or you're a non-Jew, you're alive. That's God's signature, right? You find a, a, a portrait in the, in the garbage and you look at it, no big deal. You see it's signed down there, there you know, Van Gogh or, or whatever it is, or, you know, Renoir or something. That all of a sudden, the meaning of the, the value of the thing jumps up like, you know, to $100 million. The same thing, you have God's signature on you. You're alive. All of a sudden, your value jumps up. We just don't value it. That's what the purpose of the Torah is, that people start to value their lives. That's the big nemesis, what's going on in the world now. Life is not valuable. People don't look forward to the next second. People are bored with the present, and they're afraid of the future. Everything, and they're, they're depressed and aggressive. This refers to the essence of the soul, Bechinas Yechida. That's this level of Yechida, united with God. This is the level of King David. That by means of <coughs> Re revealing this Yechida, this inner essence soul of the Jewish people to everybody. I mean, just think about it. If we're sons of God, right? It means that there's God. It means that God exists. Don't look at me. The Jewish people are not here to elevate the Jewish people. That we're, you know, we're the greatest. You got to listen to us. We're saying that God is the greatest. You have to listen to him. We're here as simple representatives 
of the creator of the universe. And the creator of the universe is not just creating the Jews. He's creating everybody. But people don't know about it. And because they don't know about it, so they're confused and they're empty and they're frustrated and this. <clears throat> so that's the idea that by means of this, every single person in his level, that's what the idea of Shevet Levi, the tribe of Levi, they lit the candles. They were gold. They showed that all the Jewish people are gold. Levi and Cohen, this is the holiness of the Cohen Guttel, of the high priest. He went into the Holy of Holies. This is the level of Yechid of every single Jew, just like the Holy of Holies in the place. The Alpis, according to this, we can explain even more deeply. <clears throat> this is what the unity of the Jewish people at Mount Sinai. Etc. says on the first day of this month of, of Sivan, the Jewish people came into the desert of Sinai, and the Jewish people he camped out. It doesn't say they camped. He camped out. This is singular. It says the Jewish people were like one person with one heart. And therefore, God said, Hare, behold, Hashash, Eten, Lemata Torah. Now is the time I'm going to give them the Torah. If the Jewish people are really one, if they have one heart and one desire just to improve the world by means of the Torah, I'll give them the Torah. That's the unity because it comes from this level of Yechida, Kashura. <coughs> this is attached specially with the Torah of the Mashiach. Penimit the Torah, the inner Torah. And that's, again, another reason for saying the Lubavitcher Rebbe is the Mashiach, in addition to the fact that he has all the criteria that the Maimonides says, but he's teaching the inner ideas of the Torah, Yechida. He's spreading this inside, that godliness of the Torah that was given in the world at the giving of the Torah. That's what he said. At the Torah, we didn't feel the newness of it. So the Jewish people were able to worship the golden calf and go crazy. And, but in the future, we'll re reveal the new, that's what it means, a new Torah, a Torah that no one will be able to twist anymore. Right? There won't be any more religions. There won't be any more. They'll just be, everyone will be just devoted to God according to the seven Noahide commandments. And the Jews according to the <clears throat> 613 commandments. The Yeshlom, we can say that this is stressed, especially in the Shabbat, which comes after the giving of the Torah, Parshas Nasser. That the unity of the Jewish people that comes from this level of Yechida, which is stressed in this week's Torah portion, is a preparation for the revelation of the Torah of the Mashiach. Shebaho Safa, Achri Agila, the Matan Torah, which is added after the giving of the Torah, Torah Chadasha. That was that's what we said. God gave the Torah at Mount Sinai, but He only gave what we call the external Torah, and the internal Torah that's going to be given revealed by the Mashiach. The Nosaf Al Torah In addition to the stress that a new Torah is going to come from me in Parshas Shavua that they read in the Shabbat, which is after the giving of the Torah. Hari that this is stressed also in Pirki Avot. What we say in Pirkei Avot, in the Shabbat that comes after Matan Torah. <clears throat> Explaining that Moses received, what, how do we? How does this start off? Pirkei Avot, the chapters of the fathers. After Shavuot, we start again. Right, what do we start? How does it begin? How does Pirkei Avot? Six chapters. Six chapters. Each one has in it, you know, 20, whatever, 30 laws. It says, Moses received the Torah from Mount Sinai. That's how it starts off. This is the Shabbat after Moses received the Torah from Mount Sinai. This is Hosaf al Kabbalah the Torah, Bizman Matan Torah. We can also say that the main stress in this is that we have to add on <clears throat> in learning Torah <clears throat> who those who receive the Torah. And it was not just to take the Torah and leave it static as it is and just read the words. That's also very nice. Nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> but don't think that's enough. It says Moshe received the Torah and he just didn't keep it for himself. He gave it over. That it became the Torah of each and every person who received the Torah by means of that, that he learned the Torah and he found new, discovered new ideas in the Torah. Now, this is a very essential thing. 
If, if you've ever learned the Talmud before, the Talmud, there's volumes and volumes of Talmud. Right, Talmud. Thousands of pages. And almost all of it is arguments. And this is to encourage arguing in the Torah. What do you mean arguing in the Torah? You read something and you say, this is what I think it means. But you should say it to someone who knows a little bit. And that person will say, no, you're wrong. That's not what it means. It means something else. No, prove it. Here, this sentence over here, it says uh, the opposite of what you said. I said, yeah, but I have a sentence that proves what I say. I said, no, no, that sentence doesn't prove what you said. That sentence means something else. And you say, no, 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 no. You, what you're saying is also wrong. That sentence does not prove something else. It proves this, and that's discussion. That's what the whole Talmud is. Discussion. And, but in the Talmud, unlike us, the Talmud was, generally speaking, people that all of them knew the whole entire Torah. They knew everything. Once in a while it comes that, you know, someone comes and has, an, has a new idea. Nobody heard, brought a new idea <coughs> that they didn't hear. But generally speaking, these are people that they have their opinions and then they argue which opinion is right. That was Beit Shammai, Beit Hillel. That is a very important and essential thing in the Torah, in Judaism, and in life, is discussion. Man is called medaber. According to Judaism, there's four levels of, what do you call it, the, of existence. Huh? There's mineral, plant, animal, and man. In Hebrew, the word for man is medaber. Medaber. Domem, someach, chai, that's plant, mineral, and animal. Medaber. People have to speak. They have to talk. They have to talk to each other. They have to talk. But maybe more important than talking is listening. You have to let other people talk also. Not only I talk. The whole idea of talking is that you got to have a discourse, discussion. I think that comes from the word die, too. Discuss, die, I think. In any case, it's very, that's why God created so many people, and everybody has different personality, different ideas, so that people will talk and they'll come to the truth because there is truth. There is truth. And to fit the truth into each and every situ situation, that's what nowadays they have the response, so they have the rabbis of today to deal with right, the, the problems that come up. Okay, so that's the idea of taking the Torah and discussing the Torah and learning the Torah and finding new ideas in the Torah. <coughs> but Oden Iker, that's the main thing, that when by means of learning the Torah and discovering new things in the Torah, we'll eventually come to this new Torah that Mashiach is going to give us. Moshe Kibbal Torah Misina, that's what it says, that all the Jews have, what does it say? That, that before we say, <coughs> <coughs> learn the Torah, before we learn Pirkei Avos, we say this, um, uh, what is it? Bright thought. It says, all Jews have a portion in the world to come. No, it's a mission, right? All Jews have a portion in the world to come. It's in Sanhedrin, right? Every Jew has a portion in the world to come. Yeah, what happened? What did it do? One minute, one minute. We'll give it another bus. Oh. Every Jew has a poor place in the world to come. This refers to, what does it mean in the world to come? It's not referring to going to heaven. It's referring to the world, the raising of the dead. But from this, every Jew is going to raise up in the dead. And the Rebbe has a whole discourse about this, how it can be. There's some people that say they won't raise up in the dead. He says, if you look in the Talmud Yerushalmi, you'll see that even they will raise up in the dead. Shemi said that this understood <clears throat> that the main novelty of the giving of the Torah is that the Torah that's going to be in the future, the Torah Chadasha, this new Torah, the complete Torah, the Torah with all the secrets, the Khatima, that's going to be what's called the, the final, <clears throat> the finality of the Torah. And also the end of Pirki Avot is, Ratzah Kodesh Baruch we say this every, Ratzah Kodesh Baruch Hu, the Israel, we say that before we start reading Pirki Avot, we say this thing about all Jews have a place in the world to come. And then afterwards we finish, we say, <clears throat> each time we read, right? each time we say, uh, 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 God wanted to give merit to the Jewish people. <clears throat> Therefore, he added to them Torah and the commandments. Like it says, Hashem 
that God has desire for <clears throat> his <clears throat> righteousness, that people should yagdil Torah v'yadir, that they should increase the Torah and make it splendid. That the main thing of the completion of learning the Torah, making Torah great and important, is not in order to know what should be done. That's important also. But no, the main thing is, Ela open. Is the Torah The main thing is that we should learn the Torah, understand the Torah. We're talking about doing the Torah. Of course, you have to do the commandments, but that you can learn from a, a from a, what's called the Shulchan Aruch. The idea of learning the Torah itself is learning the Torah, debating in the Torah, trying to understand deeper ideas in the Torah, and from that will come the new Torah that Mashiach is going to bring. Namely, all the secrets of every detail of the Torah that you learn. But okay, even in essential learning that we learn the Torah is in a way of Torah Chadash. It's a new Torah. It comes from me. <clears throat> therefore, Timshach B'choder, this will therefore be drawn down and it will permeate the whole entire world. Like it says, three things that the Torah stands on. Olam Kayam, that the world exists on. That not only will there be a novelty in the heavens and a new heavens, not only will be, there'll be a novelty in the Torah, but there'll also be a novelty that the heavens and the earth will be new, will feel the godliness in every detail of creation. Then there'll also be a new type of unity for the, for the Jewish people. <clears throat> this level of Yechida. This is the level of the Mashiach, that by means of this will be a novelty in the Torah, in the heavens, and in the earth. The Torah of the Mashiach. This is stressed by the beginning and the end of Pirkei Avot. Call every Jew as a place in the world to come. Like it says, the Jewish people, they're all Tzaddik. Now we're talking about the Jews, how to be unity of the Jews. That's equal in all the Jews. Every Jew is going to have a place in the raising of the dead. That's this level of Yechida, we said before, the essence of the soul that's above time or place. It's not limited to being spiritual or physical. And Yagdil Torah Biyadir, the God gave of the Torah to the Jews so that they should increase the Torah, that you should learn and you should receive the re reward. This re applies to every Jew, the smallest of the small, the most ignorant of the ignorant, that is learned by a, child, a teacher of small children. And he's able to. <clears throat> open up his house to teach children in order that the children should come up to, to him, right? Because Yagdil Torah via there, because you should spread the Torah around and teach as many people as possible the Torah. So these two things show how all the Jewish people are the same and how all the Jewish people are going to bring this revelation in the future. <clears throat> We can also add on that this is a special connection, the renewal of the Torah, the renewal of the heavens and the earth. This is also stressed by the whole idea of what is Shabbat. Shabbat, the Shabbat after the giving of the Torah. What is the thing of Shabbat? The whole idea of Shabbat, first of all, Shabbat is only for the Jews. A non-Jew is not supposed to keep Shabbat, even on another day. A non-Jew is supposed to praise God. A non-Jew is supposed to believe in God. A non-Jew is supposed to rejoice with God. But a non-Jew is supposed to realize that God is everywhere equally all the time. And there's no such thing as one day is holier than another day. That's the idea of Shabbat. On Shabbat, it inserts into our hearts the novelty of Hirusha Olam, that the world is being renewed constantly. That God made the world, heavens, and the earth by means of Menucha Veshvita, by means of resting. It asked by means of doing only holy things. <clears throat> so to speak, the Jews are not part of the world. The Jews are the lowest part of God, the creator. And the non Jews, they're the highest part of the creation. They're higher than the animals. They're spiritual. They can be spiritual. They can be aware that, they, that, that there is God. There's good. There's bad. 
They're very important, each and every non-Jew to God, what choices they make in life. But nevertheless, they're not the sons of God. They're not the representatives of God. They are the, how do you say, like we say, the Jews are public servants. And the non-Jews, are they're the public. The day of Shabbat reminds us of our connection to God, of our obligation to the world. That's what Shabbat is. Shabbat that God is renewing the world constantly and that the whole world is potentially holy. And especially when they learn the Torah, that this is relevant to the day of Shabbat. The Shabbat that everyone says that on Shabbat, the Torah was given the Torah. The Torah was given on Shabbat. We can say that that's the novelty of the giving of the Torah on Shabbat outside of Israel. Shavuot will be the second day of Shavuot will be Shabbat. This is also becomes the whole world becomes brand new. The, the Torah will be new and the world will be new because the world depends on the Torah. God looks at the Torah and creates the world. <clears throat> and it's also known that the day of Shabbat is attached to the future redemption. Like it says in the song of the day, Mizmor Shir Yom Shabbat, the day of the song, a song to the day of Shabbat, a song to the day that is totally Shabbat and total rest. In other words, rest from anything bad. Nothing will interfere with our service of God. Like it says in the blessing of after we eat, blessing of Muslim on the day of Shabbat, that God should give us the day that's Kuli Shabbat, that's totally Shabbat, and rest from bad things forever. Over Friday, especially on the day of Shabbat after midday, that's the time of Mincha, what that's called the will of all wills, the pleasure of all pleasures, the level, the inside of the will of the pleasure of God. That's the essence of God's pleasure is revealed near the end of Shabbat. That's the third meal. Like Yaakov, that is written by Yaakov, Ufraster, <clears throat> that it's attached with the future redemption and the third temple. And we can say that this is the whole idea. The third meal is connected to the third temple, to the third redemption. Right? We were redeemed from Egypt and we were redeemed from uh, from Babylon, and now we're going to be re re redeemed from Rome, it says. That's the third. She scratches the Torah, that the whole novelty of the Torah and the world on the day of Shabbos, this is connected to the novelty and the renewing of the Torah and the world in the future. The day that's going to be totally Shabbos, this depends on the, the new Torah that's going to come from me. Heavens will be new, the earth will be new, and everything everyone will see that God is doing the whole thing. This is especially a stress. This is especially stressed on the day of Shabbat after the Shabbat, which comes after the giving of the Torah. Our, this coming Shabbat in Israel and outside of Israel will be the next Shabbat. Okay, even since then, the time of giving of the Torah. And this week was already the novelty of the Torah and the world. Therefore, we have to say that this day of Shabbat is stressed mainly the novelty of the world to come. Shabbat is already celebrating the fact that God is creating the world brand new. So what's the real true novelty of <clears throat> Shabbat? Well, first of all, a Shabbat that comes after the giving of the Torah. So the giving of the Torah, that stresses the Torah Chadasha, the new Torah. This elevates the day of Shavuot, like we said before. Nasa means to elevate. When it comes after Shavuot, that elevates Shavuot. So the whole Torah, the world was created from the Torah. And that's the idea of Shavuot. And Nasa means it elevates this even more to the new Torah that Mashiach is going to give. And also, so if so, if we see the Shabbat that stresses the world to come, stresses the uniqueness of the Jewish people, stresses the new Torah, and also stresses the unity of the Jewish people because of this level of Yechida. This is the level of the Mashiach, which is in each one of us, that by means of him will be a novelty in the Torah and in the heavens and the earth. This is stressed when? On the day of Shabbat. Then on Shabbat, it says we should gather together groups to bring them all to synagogues and to places of learning, to teach them Torah in, how do you say, in groups. And with a special emphasis with gathering people together at the time of Mincha. Raiva the Raiva, which is called the inner, inner pleasure and will of God. This is the inner and the essence of pleasure of God is revealed in the Mincha prayer, the third prayer of Shabbat. 
This is similar to the level of Yechida, the inner level of pleasure, the essence of life of the Jewish soul, which is above any sort of divisions of the soul. And this is the inner powers, the outer powers. Therefore, this unity is drawn down into everyone from the head until the feet, from the head until the heel of the feet. That's this unity which is revealed in the Mincha of Shabbat. And by means of this, it is made also unity. Achdus im rabim Yisrael. You take all these diverse types of Jews, and you unite them all together. That's what it means. Lahakil kilo that you should gather up groups. Ad l'shlemus achdus the total unity of all the Jewish people. It says that Mashiach. This is a sentence in Isaiah that God says that atem telaktu. You Isaiah says. And brings the message of God to the Jewish people. You, Jewish people, will be gathered up echad achad b'nei Yisrael, one and one at a time. I will gather you together and you're all the those, those are scattered. I'll gather you all together. There'll be a huge group. And all of them together will come into synagogues and to places of learning. And the main thing is this debate in the the third temple. It says, Mitzion takes the Torah, they will come out Torah, and then we'll learn the Torah Hadasha of the Mashiach. And I don't want to skip, but I don't think we have any uh, alternative. All right, let's just go to the end. We'll see, maybe we'll make up in the call. May it be God's will. Hadibur. <coughs> They're just talking about. It. The Kabbalah Tachlatot and making resolutions, good resolutions about everything we said before, namely receiving the Torah, realizing that Mashiach is the answer, that inside of every Jew is a point of Mashiach, and that will reveal that the world is being renewed all the time, and first that the Torah is being renewed all the time. And that the Torah comes from the essence of God by an increasing in learning Torah. By means of this will come immediately the galut that should actually be revealed, all these things we've been talking about. Torah Chadasha Mitetetze, a new Torah will come. New understanding, new ideas, new insights into the Torah, feeling of godliness in the Torah. And the, from then, consequently, the whole world and the Gula Mitit Veshleim and the true redemption by means of the Mashiach. And Moses, that he received the Torah from Sinai. And Aaron, that he lit the menorah in the Holy Temple, will be with them. And the Baal Shem Tov and all of the Rebbe's and the previous Lubavitcher Rebbe will be with them. The Rebbe once said that the previous Lubavitcher Rebbe, he's the Mashiach, he'll stand up first. Together with all the Tzaddikim and all the leaders of all the Jewish people, and all of the generations were before <clears> the <throat> Hikitsu will wake up Baranu and rejoice, Shokhne upper those who sleep in the dirt. All the dead people will rise. Pretty fantastic, but that's what it is. It says that even, I mean, people's bodies rot away and their bones rot away, but it says there's one bone that never rots away. And from that will be created the new bodies. And they'll be exactly the same as the old bodies, but it'll just be eternal. I don't know how it's going to be, to tell you the truth, but it's going to be. Together with all the Jewish people in this generation, <clears throat> souls and bodies without any stopping whatsoever. Bakulam, I mean, if you think about it a little bit, this idea of the raising of the dead, you know, will the same dead, I'm going to recognize grandma and I'm going to recognize grandpa. <clears throat> I mean, yes, and it says that we will, but the idea is, it seems to me, <clears throat> <clears throat> That right now we're in the raising of the dead. Every instant, God is creating the world brand new. I mean, the world is this amazing gift. We can't take anything for granted. Everything that we have, everything that we are, everything that we've done, everything that we will do, is just a gift from God. That we can talk, that we can walk, that we can think, that we can see, that we can accomplish things. That with this, it's just amazing, <laughs> amazing miracles. And I mean, okay, we're we we can ask, but on the other end, think it's. Uh, come on, it's really coming to me. You know, I want to, when I die, I want to come up and who am I going to see, you know? <clears throat> so God is going to do big miracles, but we have to appreciate what we have right now. 
And says the Rebbe, the main thing we have to appreciate is the Torah. The Torah is what's going to reveal all of this good that's concealed in the world. Infinite, infinite, infinite good. That's why everyone together will hear the new Torah directly from God in the Holy Land, in the Holy City, Jerusalem, on the Holy Mountain in Jerusalem, Harabayat, in the Holy House, Beit HaMikdash, in the Holy of Holies. It says, Me'ala Kaporis, like it says from on the, between the, uh, on the Ark, <clears throat> that the tablets are inside of it. And even more, that immediately should happen. Miyad, immediately. Miyad, that's the first letters of Moshe, Yisrael Baal Shem Tov, and David Amelech. And the Rebbe also said that Miyad is also the first letters of, let's take it backward, Dov is Dov Ber, that's the fifth Rebbe of Chabad, Yosef Yitzchok, that's the previous Rebbe of Chabad, and the Rebbe said, Mashiach Menachem Shemo, that's read the Rebbe himself, the Rebbe said the Mashiach, the Rebbe said, Mashiach Menachem Shemo, so not just I say the Rebbe is the Mashiach, the Rebbe himself said he was the Mashiach, Mashiach. Said, we will actually see it, that's what we're waiting for, that should actually happen, not just that we should <clears throat> meet every day and we should have more pupils and that's wonderful, you know, we have ten, we have a thousand, we have a million, the main thing is that all these things we're talking about should actually happen. In the physical world, mamish, mamish, really, this Shavuot. Yeah, okay. Uh, now let's do the Om Yom. Okay.